Uh, David from Wiltshire. Out of all the announced daily COVID cases, what percentage of these have had none, one or both of their vaccination injections? Right, that is a, a very good question. I think, sadly, the number of uh, COVID, uh, COVID cases that uh, have uh, involved somebody who's had two vaccinations has been uh, has been rising, although clearly the results the, the, uh, of the vaccines remain very good in, in the sense that they protect those people very largely against serious illness and death, even if they, uh, even if they contract it. But uh, on the exact figures, I wonder whether, uh, Patrick, you, you have something to add there. Well, in terms of the number of people in hospital who've been double vaccinated, we know it's around 60% of the people being admitted to hospital with COVID have been double vaccinated. And that's not surprising because the vaccines are not 100% effective. They're very, very effective, but not 100%. And as a higher proportion of the population is double vaccinated, it's inevitable that those 10% of that very large number remain at risk and therefore will be amongst the people who both catch the infection and end up in hospital. So whilst vaccines are very effective at reducing severe disease, they're also effective at reducing the chance of catching it and reducing the chance of passing it on, but they're slightly less effective at doing that than they are at preventing severe disease. And so uh, what we will see as we get the... Uh, uh, let's say everybody, if everybody over the 18 had taken up the vaccine, then of course anybody who caught it would be double vaccinated. So the answer is that we should expect to see a higher proportion of people in hospital and catching the infection who are double vaccinated. That is inevitable that we will see that because of the, um, not, uh, the, the less than 100% efficacy of the vaccines overall. Thanks very much. Patrick, uh, 